Chernobyl. It's Paul Carenza here, and Tilly the Dog once again with another festive fact for Fact Event, the Fact Event calendar of festive facts. So today's one is simply this Jingle Bells, older than people think, 1857 with Jingle Bells, and it was originally a Thanksgiving song, but it's also a song about drink driving, really, because that Jingle Bells means it's like beeping the horn, you're jingling the bell of the sleigh. They so get out of the way, I've had a few sherbets. I might be causing this sleigh to go into the, uh, the snow there, and, and in fact they do, and, uh, and he's been picking up a, a girl basically, and they collide in the snow, and um, anyway, uh, it's also the first song in space, uh, it was part of a space prank uh, in the 1960s, and uh, the crew of the Gemini spaceship were up there, and they said, oh we spotted a space capsule with a man in a red suit, and lots of small space capsules in front, um, and the man in the red suit, he is singing a song, and they start singing Jimmy Bells. Uh, so it's the first song in space. Another fact, fact, fact for you tomorrow. Goodbye. I knew it. Nearly Christmas Day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hello. Hey, Junior. Merry Christmas. Wait, j j j And welcome back to Christmas 2022. Today, we're going to take a look at the opening to Scooby-Doo Winter Wonder Dog 2002 VHS. So without further ado, let's get started because today is winter! The first day of winter. Huh? The first day of winter, the first day of winter, the first day of winter of this year. Ah, let's get started. Oh, the trailer's coming. Talk about this. Ah, Harry Potter. The Chamber of Secrets. Sequel. Such an honor it is. Who are you? Why is there a... Why is there a creature in the... Wait, is that a... Harry Potter. I know Dobby. Dobby the house elf. But seriously, you get that guy. I love this movie. I definitely love watching this. Just go ahead. They catch it up! Oh, it's chilling out. Oh, it's so spookified. Something's coming, the monster's on my way! But still it's a little bit messy in here. About the Chamber of Secrets. I think the answer is yes. I'm scared, Potter. On November the 15th, Warner Brothers Pictures presents. Yep, still got Harry Potter? It's magic! Can't wait till um, next Halloween Harry year. Potter. I bet you love next Halloween year, but here how it goes. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Are we now? 
Yep. November the 15th. For thousands of years, one word has struck fear into the hearts of people everywhere. And dogs That's the curse too. of the vampire! Wow! Join Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, and the whole gang as they head for the land down under. In Scooby-Doo and the legend of the vampire. vampire. Coming to video cassette and DVD spring 2003. Warner Brothers Pictures presents... <gasps> Matthew Lillard, live action and animation, Friends, both the voice actors. Best get your smack on, Thank you. Smack off. You know what I'm saying, G? But there is factors no, money, definitely. literally. Now who's the damn stress? Still got a live action movie. Straight up, Scooby Doo the movie. Velma, the smart one. Friends. Shaggy, what are you doing, man? Still along with the king. Let's get shanky with it. Let's get this together. Oh, the movie. No Scooby Doo the movie. In 2002. Who's the ugly old broad? Thank you. Look for it on video and DVD. Hey, there's more trailers to come. It's not important where it happened. It's not important when it happened. It's not even important how. The it Powerpuff happened. Girls. It's Chemical X. What is important is it happened. It's the Powerpuff Girls. In Cartoon Network movie. Hi, what's your name? Cartoon Network presents Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup in The, the Trio Girls Movie. Three mutant superheroes saving the world before bedtime. Yep, it's still you got it. Midnight. Still panic. <laughs> so cool. Oh, bubble, bubble. Coming soon bubble. to video and DVD. The Powerpuff Girls is cute. Time for the holiday tradition! The holidays will Ooh. soon be here. Did you get the door? It's a holiday it tradition! It's Earth. Christmas! Are you gonna cry? Goodwill towards me. <laughs> Best ever. What? With these great holiday videos from Warner Brothers Family Entertainment. Cool. The funniest and most beautiful the best movies. Like Michael Keaton at his coolest in oh. Jack Frost. Oh. Hey, I slimmed down. Get it's in the spirit with the year without a Santa Claus. He's Mr. White Christmas. He's Mr. Snow. And the hilarious comedy and Christmas, the Christmas Story. Christmas Story. Like, stupid Paul, that's dumb. That's Funny, fantastic, unforgettable films, including all-time favorites like To Grandmother's, Grandmother's House, House We Go, Go Richie Rich's Christmas, Christmas Wish, Little, Little Men, Men Scooby-Doo's Nutcracker, Nutcracker School, School, Rudolph's Shiny New Year, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, plus many and more. And all of it, stuff more! So bring joy to your world with a holiday collection from Warner Brothers Family Entertainment. The Olsen Twins. For them on video cassette yep, and DVD. That's a lot of that stuff. Well, that's all for it. Story time will be coming up next.
On a blustery Christmas Eve at the North Pole, Santa walked from his workshop to the barn where he kept his sleigh. He wanted to make sure the sleigh was in tip-top condition for the night's important journey. He opened the barn door, stepped inside, and found nothing. The sleigh was gone. Santa ran from the empty barn, dashed to the workshop, and burst through the door. What's wrong, Santa? Head Elf Stanley asked. My sleigh is not in the barn, Santa panted. Where is it? Oh my goodness, Head Elf Stanley gasped. The elves in the maintenance took the sleigh for repairs last week. They said they would return it in this morning. I'll find out where it is, Santa. I've got bad news, Elf Isabel told Head Elf Stanley. When we were pulling the sleigh out of the shop, one of the runners broke. We're trying to fix it, but I'm afraid it won't be ready in time. Head Elf Stanley broke the news to Santa. But today is Christmas Eve. I have to deliver all the presents tonight. What am I going to do? Maybe I can help, said someone in a high voice. Baby Santa jumped up from his small work table, made just for him by the elves. He was choosing the right gifts for the remaining children on Santa's Christmas list. I'm sure we can think of something, he said. But baby Santa, there is no substitute for my sleigh. It can go anywhere in the world. It can sail over mountains and oceans. And can squeeze between tall buildings. It's a magical sleigh, Santa sighed. I just don't see how we can replace it in time. Hmm, baby Santa said. People all around the world travel in different ways. Can't we use their cars, planes, boats, and bicycles? You're magic too, Santa. You can make it work. You're right, Santa said. A smile spread across his face. We just have to be creative. Head Elf Stanley got the elves started on a plan. Soon, baby Santa and the elves had mapped a route for Santa all over the world. There's only one problem, Santa pointed out. If I'm not riding in the sleigh, I will have to carry all of the gifts. Someone will have to travel with me to guide my way. I'll do it, baby Santa squeaked. Ho, 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 Santa laughed. That's a great idea, son. Don't forget your earmuffs, baby Santa, Mrs. Claus said. Thanks, Mom, baby Santa called out as he and Santa climbed into their reindeer taxi. Baby Santa guided his papa through England, France, Italy, Australia, Japan, Hawaii, look at Santa surfing, Argentina, Egypt, Canada, and America. 
Just as the sun rose in each town, boys and girls awoke to find presents waiting for them. It took them a little longer than usual, but Santa and baby Santa finally finished delivering all of the presents and returned to the North Pole. As Santa and Mrs. Claus tucked baby Santa into bed, he stretched his arms out and yawned. He was exhausted. Get some rest, baby Santa, Mrs. Claus said. You worked hard tonight. Thank you, son, Santa added. Christmas and all the children everywhere from far and near really needed your help. I'm so proud of you, son. It was fun, Papa, baby Santa smiled. And he looked up at his dad and said, You know? The whole wide world really loves Christmas.